according to the Society of Automotive Engineers Machine Audit for comparing overall machine serviceability, the JCB is up to 24% better than the competition. The JCB, fitted here with an optional hinged rear demolition protection guard, has a large opening rear door with a locking pin to hold the door open if the unit is on an incline. The entire engine compartment is exposed, showing unhindered access to the longitudinally positioned engine, engine oil filter, oil dipstick, fuel filter, water separator, air filter, battery, battery isolator, high amp fuses, hydraulic sight gauge, as well as an emergency boom lowering valve. In the rear door is the coolant overflow bottle and on cab models, the washer wiper bottle. The cooling pack consisting of the radiator and oil cooler is positioned over the engine. This assembly is hinged and the pin can be removed to lift the cooling pack up, providing even better access to the entire engine compartment. The fan is hydraulically driven and thermostatically controlled to only turn at the speed that is required to adequately cool the system, reducing noise and conserving fuel. To gain access to the midship of the machine, there are two 24 mm fasteners behind the operator's seat. And when removed, the entire cab can be raised, providing industry-leading service access to the internal components, including the hydrostatic pumps, main implement and optional high flow pumps, main control valve, drive motors, individual left and right hand chain cases, and other optional hydraulic components if fitted. Bobcat also has a large opening rear door, which can be locked in the open position if the unit is on a trailer or incline. Bobcat has a transverse mounted engine, which is positioned further back towards the rear of the machine to act as a counterweight. The engine components are all easy to access, such as the engine oil filter, dipstick, fuel filter, and battery. Bobcat positions their fuel fill inside the engine compartment, which would mean that it would be very difficult to reach if positioned on a trailer. The JCB locking fuel fill is conveniently located on the right-hand side of the machine, which can easily be accessed even while on a trailer. The Bobcat cooling pack, consisting of the engine radiator and hydraulic oil cooler, is positioned over the engine. It is protected by a large steel screen. Removal of this screen is difficult due to its size and position in close proximity to the heat of the engine and exhaust pipe. As the operator has poor lifting leverage, he must slide the screen down two steel rails, being careful not to damage the fins on the radiator oil cooler or air conditioning condenser, if fitted. Bobcat also positions their hydraulic reservoir and coolant overflow bottle next to the cooling pack, which are accessed by removing two additional covers. Again, the operator has difficulty accessing these fill areas due to their position and would require a stepladder to top off fluids. To remove material debris restricting airflow within the Bobcat cooling pack, the operator must loosen the two restraining straps and separate the radiator and hydraulic air cooler, avoiding the heat of the engine, cooling pack, and exhaust pipe. When open, the material can be accessed and removed. The operator must repeat this procedure as required, depending on the application. As the engine is transverse mounted, so are the drive and implement pumps which are connected to the engine with a serpentine belt contained within the housing connected to the engine flywheel. It is imperative that the belt stays tensioned or the belt could slip, resulting in reduced machine drive and loader performance. To gain access to the midship of the machine, Bobcat also has a tilting cab. There are two 19 millimeter fasteners in the front of the cab and when removed, the cab can be tilted backwards once raised, access to the internal components is extremely restrictive. The drive and loader pumps, which are transverse mounted and are connected to the engine with a serpentine belt, are extremely difficult to access. If there were to be a component failure, costly repairs based upon poor service access would result. The other components, such as the control valve, drive motors, 
and centralized chain case are also very difficult to access, service, and maintain. 